Before we start, we have a disclosure here. Uh, please be aware of uh, risk in the future trading. Uh, this is an ES. Your entry was at 66.50. The target was uh, uh, 52.25. If we notice on the ES chart, this is you can use an ATM or fully automated trade or an ATM strategy. All three are the same signal and there is no optimization, no trailing stops because the trailing stops are based on the floor and fibs. And then you have your target. Once this market done with the downside and we the market turn around and uh, to the long position, then we get a new signal. So those here are based on the last signal we had from the ES, YM, NASDAQ, CL, Russell, 30-year Treasury bond, DAX, and the Euro dollar future. So if we notice here on the ES one minute, based on one contract, hit the target. On the NASDAQ, based on one contract, hit the target. And the YM hit the target. Uh, CL, we still have a trade on the CL. It's a new entry. The Russell hit the target. 30-year Treasury bond. The DAX hit the target and the 6E hit the target. So if we look at the market analyzer, you can see your signal entry, and then it tells you where is the target and re-entry the market at 67.75. So on the last signal, we nailed 64 ticks on the ES. On the YM, we nailed on the base on the last signal only, not the whole day is the last signal, 135 ticks. The NASDAQ, 375 ticks. If we look at the NASDAQ, we had a sell entry at 67.63. We hit the target, and it is done. The same story as the ES and the YM. If we look at the Russell, let me see if we have the, yes, we have. And if we look at the Russell, it's the same story on the Russell. Uh, we have 70 ticks based on on the last signal, and we had the entry at uh, 1540, and we hit right on the target. So all the market hit right on the target. The Russell 73 takes based on the last signal. The 30-year Treasury bond 26 takes. Uh, the DAX 74 takes, and the 6E. If we notice on the 6E or the Euro dollar, we were way. We did not hit the target. We missed the target. And we are sitting right there at the support line. So maybe at the end of the day, we'll hit it or maybe change in direction. But there is not much uh, from that uh, entry signal. So on and all, based on the last signal, we hit 756 ticks. This is not bad for a future market. And all is based on one contract. So let's look at the scalper. Uh, on the scalper, uh, we did very well. The only market didn't do well. It is actually the YM uh, didn't well, uh, do well. On the scalper, we keep it simple. Uh, we had some problem with Ninja Trader was crashing in and out the last couple of days, and uh, then we had to reinstall it uh, constantly. Uh, yesterday, we couldn't even move the chart. So hopefully, with their new update, uh, that problem can be solved, but we had a lot of problem the last couple of days on Ninja Trader 8 and it's been crashing, cannot move uh, the chart. Uh, then we were forced to install a new one for the scalper, new NT8. Uh, and then it worked. Uh, but uh, tomorrow we will be adding more uh, the 30 year treasury bond and uh, the Russell. Uh, but uh, today, this is not bad. Uh, uh, for uh, the scalping, and actually we hit practically all the targets uh, today on the, uh, sorry, maybe if the numbers are not, because earlier today also we had some problem, as I said, on the scalper we had uh, to reinstall Ninja Trader, and, um, and, uh, but we did some very well uh, after we, um, we deleted everything and reinstalled everything on Ninja Trader. 
uh, we, uh, we, we sort out whatever the, was the problem on the NT8. So on the scalper, we did very well based on the CL, ES, YM, and NASDAQ. We got 2200, 1800, uh, 4900, the, uh, and then uh, the NASDAQ did extremely well. And then uh, we did today, let me fix this one here. Uh, 2530. This is not bad at all on the scalper, and it is pretty much straight out with it. 